Aloha everyone, it's Kona Raven, and I have a brand new mini to share with you. Um, for those of you that have been following me on Facebook, you've seen the creation of this from start to the, uh, from the beginning to the end, and so I'm excited to share the final product. The paper collection that I used was by Prima, it's called Rosarian. It did have 48 sheets, and I used every single one of those sheets to make this uh, mini album. So the size of this album is eight and a quarter and it's by six and a half. I used uh, C4 envelopes. They're the pretty big, good size envelopes. And um, I cut the top of them because they're normally nine inches in, uh, in length. So I cut it down to eight and a quarter so that it would be easier to coordinate with cardstock. Here is the front cover and um, I did use a lot of these Tim Holtz uh, rosette flowers throughout the album and some polka dot washi tape and a lot of this polka dot ribbon also to coordinate. These are some Sizzix dies uh, that I used also. So on the front cover I have this uh, magnetic flap that flips up. In inside I have a Oh, I have a, a photo mat here and then you could do some journaling here or up there and then that just fits down inside there. On the side uh, I have uh, just put some lace over the the spine of it here and then the two pieces of lace met in the middle and I covered it with this black and white coordinating ribbon. Here's a lot of scene binding. There's a jump ring buried in there somewhere. And um, I attached a few charms. And then there's the back. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. Okay, so here's the interior. I didn't put anything on the front side. And what's different about this one is there are no pockets, um, large side pockets. All of it is just pages. So here's a little booklet on the front. It has a little magnetic flap for two wallet sized photos. This flap here is magnetic. That pops up. And then I have two split pages. So there's one here. It, another split page that comes out here. And then you could do some journaling here or you could put a photo and do some journaling. Really up to you. And then on the next page, I created a little pocket here. These are some cutouts from uh, the paper collection. They're just journaling spots or tags that I figured you could actually use these and attach them to pictures if you decide that you want to, uh, you know, journal for your photos. So I'll just put that to the side. This is a magnetic flap that opens up like this. Here's some space for photos. And then I have some on page, uh, an on page pocket with photo mats and these here uh, is what I've been kind of starting to do lately is create a little pocket on the bottom with a tag that you can journal so you could either put a photo in like so um, on the bottom and then uh, either like this or like this and that way you have a photo mat and then you have a little journaling spot also I've only done it on one side and then there's just a regular photo mat on the back. And the same with this one, photo mat on the back. And on this page, uh, I filled this album with smaller pages just because I wanted something different. Uh, so here is a six and a half by six and a half page here with a belly band. Here's a journaling spot and a photo mat on the back. It does have a little photo mat tucked inside with a little journaling spot in the back. And then again, I have another uh, photo mat with a pocket and a journaling spot that you could put just like that, okay? And then this little flap here is housing more of those uh, cutouts journaling spots from the collection. And I thought I'd include it just so that Anyone that has it can uh, journal for their photos on any page, and uh, it's conveniently located in your in the album. Here's another page. Uh, it's mag 
magnetic. These two are magnetic flaps, so these pop up. And then these come down like this for spots. And then this is a fold out. So it folds out once and twice, and again, once and twice. Plenty of space for photos. You could do some journaling here and some more photos there. So here's some journaling tags and then on the back also. There's a lot going on with this album. Um, this is one of my simpler pages. So here's a flap. It is magnetic. It just opens up. And then here's a pocket here uh, with some photo mats also. This is just a plain photo mat. And then this one has the pocket on both sides. And then this actually folds out. And there's plenty of space for photos here or this page here, uh, this actually has a lot going on with it too. So first let me start with this on page pocket. Here's a journaling tag and then a photo mat with uh, more journaling on the back. And then this is magnetic. It opens up. You have space for two photo mats here and then it flips up. You have space for photo mat here and here. And then it also flips down so that you have more space for photos. See? A lot of space for photos. On this page, this is magnetic. There's a little journaling spot here. So this pops up and then this pops back. You have a large photo mat here. You have photo mats here. And then this opens up. And then you have, again, space for uh, photos and journaling spot with a little pocket. So I have that on the bottom here and also on the top. And that closes up. And then I have little uh, split pages again, but uh, there's one vertical and horizontal. This is magnetic. So this opens up. I have a photo mat with a pocket and a journaling tag and then just a regular photo mat. And then it flips over and here's a journaling spot. Or you could put a small photo and then journal under it. And then here's another uh, small page, and it's a photo mat with journaling spot. And then on the inside, I've tucked another photo mat journaling spot. And now on the flip side, again, another photo mat pocket with a journaling spot. I've created a small pocket here, and it has a little tag in it that you could use for journaling. And then this is a magnetic flap. And that just opens up. This is one of my simpler pages. And then when you flip it on this side, it's the last page. I have an on page pocket and tucked inside of it is a large uh, photo mat with a pocket journaling spot. And I did that on both sides. And then this here is magnetic. You could pop that open. You could either journal here or even put a smaller photo. You could put a photo here. There's some journaling spots or photo mats here, and then also it flips down. And so there's some spots for journaling or photos here and also here. And again, I left the back end blank. So there is my Rosarian mini album. And as you can see, it's really packed with a lot of spots for journaling and uh, for photo mats. So thank you for those that followed along on Facebook. And um, for those of you that haven't, please, Feel free to, to join and uh, watch all of my future products or mini albums or whatever I decide to create. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha!